41. Calculate the equilibrium constant at 25 degrees Celsius for each of the following reactions from the value of the delta G notch given. So now we have SNCl4 liquid, which turns into SLCl4 liquid. Hmm. Interesting. We're just going to keep rolling with it, shall we? Delta G is 8.0 kilojoules. So we're trying to find an equilibrium constant, right? An equilibrium constant is always a K value. Now, I have no idea what uh, K value this is, right? Because it's literally the same thing to the same thing. Probably they meant, you know, from a gas to a liquid or a liquid to a gas. But doesn't matter because there's only one formula that links a K value with the delta G. There's two variations depending on which variable you're solving for. But since we're solving for the equilibrium constant, it's easiest to memorize it as this. K equals E all raised to the negative delta G over RT. Let's start with the R value. That's a constant value. R is 8.314 in this case. Now, if we use 8.314, the units are joules per mole times Kelvin. So this will tell you the units of what the other variables should be in. So for example, the temperature, there's a Kelvin here, so I have to have my temperature in Kelvin, but they gave it to me in, in Celsius. But that's okay because I can just quickly convert the 25 degrees Celsius into Kelvin. Celsius to Kelvin plus 273. More specifically, it's uh, 273.15. So room temp, 25 degrees Celsius, would turn into 298.15 Kelvin. Delta G. The R value says it's got to be in joules. Oh boy, it's in kilojoules. That's okay, because we can just convert kilojoules into joules, right? Kilojoules into joules times by 1,000. So 8 times 1,000 is 8,000. And that's the number that's going over here. All right, let's plug in. K equals the E value on the calculator to the negative... Fraction, we got 8,000 on the top, and then divided by the two values on the bottom. We got 8.314, and then we have the 298.15. I'm going to simplify all of this into the calculator, and then I'll do the E button. So we're going to say that K equals E raised to the what? Well, I'm going to say negative 8,000 divided by 8.314. And since I'm not using parentheses, I'm going to just press divide by 298, just so that the calculator will understand what I'm trying to do. And now I have a negative 3.227 with a lot more numbers. Now, I'm not going to round, but I'm also not going to write out those units, those, those numbers, right? So I'm going to now use my E button, second LN, that's the E button, and then I'm just going to grab that value, plug it in, press enter, and that's the equilibrium constant, K equals how many sig figs? Well, start off with two, so I got to end in two. I can't put that number into scientific notation, so let's do that. Actually, it would be, I guess, 4.0. 4.0 times 10 to the negative second, or you could have just said 0 0.040. It's the same exact thing. And now I guess I have to end the video because uh, my dog is uh, going a little crazy. So thank you. I really hope this helped. Let me know uh, if it did, and let me uh, let me let me get my crazy dog. Okay. Bye bye.